Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to this week's card. I used um, Copics today to color this butterfly and the border. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this butterfly from the Penny Black Social Butterfly set and I'm going to ink it up with some Versamark and stamp it onto some vellum and I'm going to black emboss it. Um, I love the way the black embossing powder looks on vellum. <coughs> so I kind of smushed it a little bit when I stamped it, so I re-stamped it, and here I am just uh, heating it up to set it. So we're just going to cut that part off. Now, whenever you use Copics with um, uh, embossing areas, I feel like the, the tip sort of gets messed up from the embossing powder, like it gets white on it or black on it or whatever your embossing powder is. So what I did was, because I'm using vellum, I turned it over and now I'm coloring the other side so that I don't have any interference with the embossed areas. I'm using three different colors. I started with the dark um, and I just did the inside, then I went out with a little bit of a lighter color and then the lightest color on the very outside. And so when you flip it over you can see how you can see the color right through it. And I'm just going to speed this up and do it the same way on the other side. You don't want to apply too much ink on the vellum because it does bunch up a little bit so you want to be careful which is why I didn't start with my usual all over light color. Okay, now I've got that done. I'm going to cut that out with scissors and you want to be really careful because the vellum is very delicate. Right, now I'm going to work on my border. I'm just going to take a Stampin' Up! black marker and I'm just going to freehand some lines around the edge. I'm going to start with my lightest color. I want the lightest to be in the middle. So I'm going to color some yellow right there. These are the same colors I used on the butterfly. And um, then I'm going to do my next shade of orange there. And generally I blend with the lighter color. So notice I go back in with the lighter one to blend it out. And I'm just going to go around the card just combining all these colors together. Um, so I'm just going to figure out where my butterfly is and I'm going to freehand a little wind thingy. And I do it in pencil first because it's too scary to do it in marker first. And then I just go over it in marker and then um, after it dries for a minute I'll go back in and I'll erase those pencil marks. Here's my Thank You Kindly set from Stampin' Up! which retired but it's still one of my favorite sets. If you can get it on eBay I would do that. I do a lot of thank you cards, so it's got a lot of really pretty uh, curly thank you words. Now this is a new embossing folder by Stampin' Up! in the spring catalog and it's called Cloudy Day. And it's just a bunch of textured dots that raise up in the form of clouds. But um, rather than having the dots raised up, I actually chose to have them pushed in. So it kind of looks like a quilted pattern. It looks really cool when you do it that way. Um, anyway, so now I'm going to take my butterfly, I use a glue dot to put it in the middle so that the wings can fly up. And uh, then I'm going to, actually what you can do here, which is really cool, is you can color your rhinestones with Copic markers. And that way they match perfectly. And I use my little paper piercer to pop them up and stick them down. Get that one dropped on the floor. I think I'll pick it up. Okay. Um, and I actually made this panel a little bit smaller than my card base uh, because uh, when you have those textured dots, it, it wasn't sticking with just regular tape adhesive, so I needed to put some dimensionals in there to pop it up. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. It's pretty simple today. Um, I really like those clouds. They're very cool. Uh, that embossing folder is on page 28 in the new spring catalog if you're interested in it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.